guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Bethany and today I have this how to get a perfect beachy wave curl to your hair. Yeah. So I wear this hairstyle almost every time that, you know, I style my hair after I shower. I just love it. I think it looks bomb with the law, which is the haircut that I have right now. I figured out the right formula. The angle, the curvature of the earth in relativity to the wind and everything like that of the curling wand to achieve like this perfect, amazing curls that are so effortless and so like easy. And also I'll be sharing some products that I love, you know, treating my hair with while I do this and just helps maintain this perfect curl so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video but right before don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's right down below it's gonna be that big red button that says subscribe Duh. and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate it you guys and yeah this is how i like to do my hair this is what i do to my hair if you guys want to know how i do it just keep on watching so first things first, we are going to protect your hair from the heat. I use this Tresemme heat protectant spray and then I brush it out to distribute the product all over my hair and each strand. Next thing I do, some of you might think it's a bit backwards and whack, but I think it works so much better. I hairspray my hair before because then my curls will hold on better and longer. And then I brush it all out again so it's not too sticky. Now the curling one that I use is the new me i think 24 millimeter or 25 millimeter um sized barrel i start from the back of my head and i work my way in i grab small to medium sections to alternate the curl pattern but at first i always always make sure to curl away from my face so i put the barrel behind my hair and wrap it around like so then i let it do its thing for about 10 to 15 seconds i think yeah not too much to leave it too curly and uh, this tip is very important i let about two or so inches out so i don't curl the ends and this makes all the difference it's what makes the hair look lived in but then i just repeat this in every strand across the first part of my head Once I start getting closer to my face, I section smaller and smaller pieces, but I still do the same technique to the parts framing my face and uh, to my bangs. Then I go back and just choose about five pieces to curl the opposite way, that is towards my face and with the barrel in front of my hair, just again to alternate the curl pattern, make it more voluminous and natural, and this is also just an important step to make this all work. I don't know why I only do it after I curl all my hair, but I feel like then I can see better which parts need more volume or more, like, you know, curls. <laughs> Now that we're done with the curls, we have to add a texture because it's the last and final step to creating that perfect beachy wave. The first product I apply is the Curled Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. I'm a big fan of texturizing spray because I have thin hair, so this adds more body, makes the hair more tussled and windswept. Another texture spray that I love is the Way Hair Spray. It's lightweight, but it adds such a beautiful finish to your hair. Just look at the difference between these two sides, like, wow. 
So this is how I achieved the perfect beachy curls to my hair. I hope you enjoyed watching this and it helped you out with your hair type. If it's like mine, all the product details, all my hairstylist details will be down below if you're interested in my new color. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!